Bridge 92.5 Gold FM. It's a 20 to 7, 20 to 8 on the tweed. We we love somebody having a crack. Absolutely, a local having a crack. That's even better. Yeah. And we're about everything Gold Coast here at 92.5 Gold FM. And I think we like people having a crack at the highest they can get to. Um, we know the Coles and Woolies and uh, Aldi, they try and pull the wool over our eyes uh, every day yeah. so with the shopper dockets, uh, with cheap milk, with bread. We know they're putting in bakeries and butchers. So this is going to start cleaning out some of the small businesses that we love. Yeah, that's right. Greg Dennis is a local farmer and he's come up with a great idea. As we know, the milk is really cheap, as Spider just said, which means that the, the farmer's hurting when it comes to trying to sell their milk. Is this right, Greg? It's just not profitable, is it? Yeah, no, look, it's, it's certainly become uh, tough. And uh, over, over recent times, you know, we're seeing prices for the farmer pretty much... Um, the clock's been turned back to, uh, to the 1990s, really. Wow. And it's hard for you, too, because you don't hold any of the cards. Are these big businessmen, these uh, godfathers of milk, <laughs> or the shopping centres that, you know, the, the place, are they saying, you know, oh, well, too bad, if you don't go with us, well, you're going under? Yeah, it, it has. It's become very much that way. Uh, we, you know, we we're offered a minimum price by the major processors, and there is no point of negotiation for us as dairy farmers. You either you either take it or leave it. So, so we're now finding that, um, you know, what well they dictate the terms. We don't we don't have any control. So being a price taker uh, is pretty tough for the dairy farmer because we have a lot of fixed costs that continue to rise, and we don't have any say in them either. So, uh, so yeah, the, the margins just continue to get skinnier over the years to a point where we're seeing, you know, in the last two years we've seen 10% of, of the Queensland dairy industry effectively leave. The farmers have been forced off their farm. And I deal with a couple of dairy farmers, of course, uh, my wife's... Uh Father, or my yeah. father-in-law, uh, dairy farmers in New Zealand. And look, it isn't easy work, but it can be rewarding. You've come up with a fantastic uh, plan. You've said no to Coles, no to Woolworths, no to Audi, and you've got a scenic rim for real milk. And uh, do you want to just run us through it? Because people will love this idea. Sure. We, um, I guess it's, it's important for us. Uh, milk is a perishable item, and, and spider with your contacts with dairying, you know that... Uh, Milk has a, a limited shelf life. So for us, it's important that it's as real and as fresh as it can possibly be. So we want to keep it pretty simple. You know, we're talking about milking our own cows one day and, and bottling the milk either later that day or, or the next day. So milk, when it hits the shops that we are, are currently talking to, um, yeah, your milk's going to be one or two days old, not, wow. not one or two weeks old. That's amazing. And, and, and what are you uh, putting the milk in? Is it going to be glass? Is it going to be uh, cartons? Yeah, we're looking at, uh, at, at three, three bottle types to start with, the uh, two-litre, one-litre plastics and, um, and 750ml glass. Oh, glass! You know, we, uh, oh, glass! Yes. I'll collect them. I'll put candles yeah. and stuff in them and stuff <laughs> and flowers and things. <laughs> Yeah, no, look, it's great. To, we're getting a great response to, um, to the glass, and that's something we're very conscious of, um, you know, the health benefits and the environmental benefits. So I think that we'll, we can grow with the market and the consumer will determine uh, to what extent we put milk in glass. Wow. And if, if the support is there, then we will we'll grow with that. And, and will there be a little layer of cream uh, just on the top? Definitely. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm pretty keen to... Uh, re-educate the public as to the you know the health benefits of leaving milk uh, unprocessed yeah. to the extent where you know we don't want to homogenize our milk because it does damage to the structure so yeah. it's, it's not good for your health and uh, what i love about it you're going to be able to get it obviously through a lot of different retailers throughout the coast to start with and definitely uh, bow desert and the uh, surrounding areas but more importantly it is going to be that uh, a little bit dearer but as you say you're going to get it uh, pretty much straight from the cow and you are supporting small business which we all love yeah exactly right how much will your coffee taste better, oh. your cereal, if you put it in your cakes and your pancakes, like that beautiful effect? You know, kids go through a lot of milk. Just save the cheap stuff for them. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this in the fridge for, I don't know, kids, for your kids coffee. Kids are pretty discerning too, I think, once they get, get <laughs> yeah. a taste for it. Yeah. You're well, right, Dennis, and it's good for them. Greg, thanks exactly. very much. It's a great, a great thing you're doing, Greg Dennis. It's absolutely awesome. Thank you. Yeah, good, good talking to you guys. And just quickly, when will it be available? Have you got an exact date yet? Yeah, look, we're, we've uh, set our product launch for May, and um, 
so everything's falling to falling into place quite nicely. Give us a call when it's uh, launched so we can give it a really good shove for you. Definitely, I'll get back in touch. Aww. Okay, go look after those cows, mate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> good on you, Greg Dennis. A, a local farmer having a crack at taking on the big three at 92.5 Gold FM with Richard well, Bridge and Spider. What would you like to see brought back? Something from the yesteryears that you'd love to see brought oh. back. And milk is one of those things that, you know, you used to get, you used to wake up and it used to be at the front door. Yep. 13, 27, 10, what would you like to see brought back? And it's great to see Greg now bringing back milk like it used to be. Oh, and milk in glass. Give us a call. Oh. Yeah. 13, 27, 10 with Richard Bridge and Spider at God FM. It's a 14.